fans, Joe Hart, England's number 21 the Dickhead. Welcome to another episode of the Football Special. I am the Malcolm Best. This week I'm joined by the vastly underrated and overpaid Norwich manager, Chrissy Hooten. Let's be having you! I wasn't even in charge of Norwich then. Oh, whatever. In a week back full of European football action, it's hard to know where to start. But a certain German, no, not Bayern Munich, had a blinder. That lad's got eyes in the back of his head. Hey, Jim, I think that's a medical condition. Outlandish claims from Mr Greg Dyke. You know, I truly believe that with the proper preparation, the correct coaching and with sufficient support, there is nothing to stop Wayne Rooney from getting himself dressed by the year 2022. Outlandish claims from Mr Greg Dyke. Chrissy Hooten is with us today. You travelled in from Norwich, home of Alan Partridge, fictional character, turkeys, Saturday night girls for ugly blokes, and the mighty off. Oh, I can't bring myself to say it. Norwich. Easy now, Malcolm. Focus. Oh, you're right. My apologies, Chris. Another former Newcastle manager, Alan Partridge, who has... Oh, hang on. That's next week's script. Sorry. Current Newcastle manager, Alan Bardew, has been forced to defend his team's piss-poor performance. He told disgruntled fans that at least they weren't Sunderland. Seems to have worked for now, at least. And David Moy spent 11 hard years slogging away at Goodison to try and get Everton above Man United. And what do you know? All he had to do was spend six weeks in charge at Old Trafford. The US government shut down this week, failing to pay any staff salaries. No one over here is doing a Portsmouth. Milan Mandras for president. And Di Canio has come out to say he wouldn't mind going back into management again. No doubt he will too. Best of luck with those anger management classes, Paolo. Hey, talking of angry managers. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the greatest of them all? Oh, great Jose, winner of titles and champions leagues with different clubs. The greatest of them all is Pep Guardiola. <clears throat> Guys, we've got to get another mirror. This one is fucked. Ian Holloway, you now lost three on the trot and Crystal Palace are well in the relegation zone. Are you worried? <sighs> Well, Ian cannot answer your question, as the club can't afford any more fines. Therefore, I'm releasing the following statement. Pish, pish, pish. Something about badgers. Thanks very much. Good day. This is the football special and Chris Hooten is beside me. Chris, how about some predictions for this weekend's games? First up, Sunderland versus United. Don't know. Or Liverpool versus Palace. I don't know. Oh, come on. City Everton. Um, how about... I don't know. Oh, what a waste of time. May as well have had Aaron Shearer on. Well, Everton will be attempting to defend their unbeaten record against Man City and it's October. Martinez barely made her out of August with that record at Wigan. There's something special about Everton managers, except when they're managing other clubs, that is. Well, if you can't blame the manager United fans, just blame FIFA. So let's cross live now to our reporter, Dan, who's reporting live from Qatar. So, Dan, how is it? Hot. Maybe you can explain it in a little more depth for our viewers. <sighs> there is a lot of sand. It's very hot. What about all the amazing cities? Isn't it the world's richest country? Surely the World Cup will be a success. <laughs> How would I know? How budget only stretched as far as a night in the Bedouin tent. Apparently it's going to be a fan zone. Right. Thanks a lot, Dan. You prick. Finishing off this week's show on the old Joanna is Jim Daly with a brilliant song about Tom Daly's diving partner, Ashley Young. Take her away on those tinkling ivories, Jim.
Give Ashley Young a protective helmet, give Ashley Young the help he needs Give Ashley Young a wheelchair because he has problems staying on his feet Give Ashley Young a five game ban, give Ashley Young what he deserves Give Ashley Young a fine, we mean it this time and stick him in the reserves he is a brilliant diver, he is better than Tom Daly Get him in the Olympic diving team for Rio 2016 He swan dives every game, it's like he's putting on a show If there were judges in the crowd, they'd give him 9.9 and 10.0 Give Ashley Young a protective helmet, give Ashley Young the help he needs I'm not saying Ashley Young's a massive cheat, but Ashley Young's a massive cheat Let's kick Ashley Young out of football, we don't want cheaters to prevail and that goes to anyone who likes to dive, I'm looking at you Gareth Bale. Thanks for watching the football special. As always, it's been an immense pleasure, despite the fact that Chrissy Hooten has constantly been beside me for the entire show. I'm not even getting paid for this. And neither should you! Here's the game seven of the Premier League and the Moyes Out campaign starting over. So, until next week, Bye-bye! <laughs>